got another one. Whoa, we're gonna hit and jump. Face on! I don't know what's going on down here. There's a bunch of something all over the bottom down here. So, I don't know what the heck is that. I don't know. We have to go over here and look. All right, let's go. What do we got in here? It's like pieces of steak or something, or meat. I don't know if you guys can see this in the water, but there's like big giant chunks of meat. Like, I don't know, and up above there, there's a huge pile of it, like somebody just jumped it off the bridge. I don't know, maybe they thought someone in here was gonna eat it. Oh, fish on her right. That was, you see that? That was quick. I caught that little fish right up by the meat pile. So see if anything else is gonna do it again. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Maybe they're happy eating all that meat. There's a big piece right there. I'm not gonna pick it up, but right over there by the bridge, there's just a giant pile of it. Like, so the fish are biting. That's a good sign. These fish here, they're not super hungry because there's, well, a big giant pile of meat all over the bottom of the river here. Would you look at that? What is that all about? That's a giant pile of meat that's all cut up. I don't know where it came from, but that's not like uh, it fell out of the sky or something. Maybe somebody thought that the fish were gonna eat it. I don't think these trout down here chowing on the meat. Well, maybe they are. Maybe that's why they're not so hungry. Oh no, I snagged up. Oh well, walk up past the meat pile. Once you get under the bridge of the ways, it doesn't exist anymore. Oh, oh, all right. All right, we're gonna try something different here. We got a copper one on here. It's still a number four hook, man, be too big. But uh, I thought maybe I'd still try, but we're gonna, I don't know. Have to give it a shot, but it's copper. And it has these kind of really weird holographic bead kind of deals that change color and different temperatures, apparently. We'll see how it's gonna work. Oh, fish hit it immediately. Holy Khalil, that was an awesome hit too. Copper, oh, it hit it again. All right, copper is what we're going with, guys. Hopefully I don't lose this spinner because it's, that'd be disastrous. I'll be fishing with this guy all day then. What the heck? That branch wasn't there before. Nothing came out of here, boys and girls. This is like a busy spot too, usually. And if nothing's happening here, we'll try up around the corner for a second. And then it's time to mosey on out of here, I guess. Tomorrow, oh, I spoke too soon and there's a fish. There we go, boys and girls, check it out. I spoke a little too soon thinking I wasn't gonna catch anything here today. And I, I was wrong, there's a fish. There's the first fish of the day, brown trout. Check them out, whee, little bitty brown trout. Well, you know, hey, a fish is a fish and that's awesome to me. All right, well, check it out. You get on one of my spinners, single spinner to the, it, it's an easy, easy release too. Hold on, dude, we'll have you off in about two seconds. All right, well, all right, I'll quick, you're grunting, you're gonna, whoa, 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 you're gonna be free in a second, give me a chance. Come on, come on, Mr. Hollywood. Show everybody your profile. All right, look at that one, isn't he? Look at the beautiful red colors on him. It's fantastic. Just not giant or anything, but hey, a fish is a fish, especially in this cold water, man. There's like a little feast going on underneath that branch over there, I bet you. And these bigger fish are just kind of hovering in there, waiting for things to just come down and go into their mouth. Fish home, my way to go. I told you. Look at that. Right there. I told you. I drop it in that spot. Something's going to happen. Something good. We got ourselves a chunky brown trout here. All right. There we go. Fish of the day number two. Fish of the day. This is more like fish number two of the day. So check him out. He's a lot bigger than that other guy was. Hopefully this guy doesn't get it down in there too far. I don't think he does, but... Oh no, we're lucky he's right on the top of his mouth. All right. All right, he's got a little bit of blood on the top of his mouth coming out there, but here you go, check it out. That's a nice one right there. Ooh, all right, dude, hold on. All right, here we go. See you later, Tater. All right. He's kind of swimming over there underneath that branch and kind of hovering. Right there, there he goes. Oh, he's going down into the hole. He sees it. There he goes, back in there again. All right, well, that was really fun. That was a nice size one too, decent. And you're walking up on a spot like this, you see this tree. All right, fish on the opposite side of it. That's where I got the first fish. Then I came over here and I just threw my spinner over on that far side over there and kind of over by where that tree root is. And I pulled it back along the edge and it got caught in the current. It got right underneath that tree and that's where that fish came out. And that was a nice one, it's about 14, almost 15 inches. So I'll take it any day. That was fun. All right, I'm gonna get back to work. This is awesome. I 
There's a back pool on there. Kind of hoping. Oh God! Oh, oh got me a peanut. Look at him. He's working. All right. He's like, I'm trying, dude. I may not be big, but I got a lot of spunk. All right, there he goes. Oh, well, I'm not even gonna waste this net for you. You're too little. I'm just gonna get my hand wet and toss you back in. All right, check it out. Dwarfish, all right. All right, well, there you go. Smallest fish of the day, but hey, it's a fish. Bye-bye, little puny fish. She's going back in there again. All right, well, that was fun. Look at that guy. Really easy to make, made it at home. All right, back in a second. That's all I can do here, hope for the best. Wish me luck. Oh, I kind of got in there a little ways. Not really what I'd want to be. Oh, I got a fish, oh! That wasn't where I wanted to be, but I got a fish. So I'll take it, check it out. What kind of fish, he's thrashing like a, is that a brook trout yet? Nope, it's a brown trout. That's a small guy, but hey, that's another fish. So even though I haven't been able to catch a ton of them today, at least I'm catching fish. All right, check it out. Just a little puny dude. But hey, every fish matters. Oh, there he goes. He's just sitting over there, swimming sideways. He doesn't know where he's going. Let's hope for the best try for another one. So far, this fast little trip out to the stream has been pretty successful, even though we've had some major gear issues and stuff. But for the most part, we're catching fish, having fun. And we're out here. It's not at home sitting on the couch, which is terrible. This is way better. There's a big pool coming up here. And I gotta toss now, because if I don't toss now, something's gonna just see me and bolt out of there. Fish on like that. See that? Check it out, guys. All right. What'd I tell you? I had to get up in there where the brown trout were. There we go. Check this guy out. All right. He's wanted that. You wanted the spinner? I'm telling you, man, this copper is kicking so much butt. All right, my hands are wet. There you go, check him out. Where do you got the hook at? Well, geez, you didn't even have the hook in there. You're like barely bit it. I don't know how you didn't spit it. This is kind of odd. Oh, all right, well, he's rambunctious and he's gone now. I tried to get a shot with him, but he just wouldn't let me. All right, so what I did here, so you guys all know, as I'm way back down here in this run, and up there is that pool. And that pool right now is filled with fish and they're feeding and they're going crazy. But the minute I walk up to that first little run right there, as you see that's coming down out of that pool, these fish are gonna see me. There's gonna be two or three that are gonna be sitting in this back section of this pool. And the minute I come in there, they're gonna take and race off up in there and warn all these other fish that I'm here basically by their erratic behavior. But they're gonna all know I'm here. So the best thing to do from here is cast from as far back as you possibly can. Oh, there we go. You're gonna wanna fish from like, see where I'm at right now? At the top of this run, from the bottom of this run that goes into this big pool. And here's another one up here. So what I'm trying to do, stay back as far as possible. See that, a fish just shot out of there. It saw me. So it made me out. Who knows, maybe that's that fish I let go. Anyways, I'm gonna go up here. I toss it a couple more times across this spot. I see if something else will just kind of roast out of there on the spinner. Nothing. All right, well, that's the way it's going to be. We pulled one guy out of there, and he got somehow other managed to get back in there and warn everybody that we're here. So we're going to try pulling him in one more time. Oh, got another one. Whoa, look at him jump. Wow, check it out. He's a fighter. Oh, he's going to try to get free. Hopefully he does, and we don't have to touch him. But all right, whatever. All right, check it out, guys. This has been a, an awesome afternoon. It's been nonstop fishies. One after another after another. All right, all on this copper spinner that I'm using. All right, well, get the hemo out. All right, check him out. Muddy little brown trout, trying to get him back in. He just wants to go. All right, there he goes. Oh, he just swam right back up and over. And, all right, well, that's probably the last fish we're catching here in this spot. Plus, look at it. It's starting, the sun's going down. It's time to get out of here. What a great way to spend a Tuesday night. I decided to come out here just for a couple hours. I'm gonna give it a shot, walk up through a little section I haven't been in a long time, and see how the fishing was gonna be. It was kind of sporadic in spots. In other spots, they hit pretty good, and I had some fun. 
had a lot of gear malfunctions, which was not good. If I wouldn't have had gear malfunctions, I probably would have walked all the way through here without any problem. But I had to stop from time to time. I tried to use the, uh, the little black jig, and it just didn't go so well for me. I, I didn't catch anything. I'm trying again, you know, I'm not going to give up on the little, those little streamers, but for now, it just didn't work very well in here. What worked in here was this little copper spinner that I made. You know, I'm not even, I can't even grab it to show you. This little bitty copper spinner. That's what worked in here. It was great. I took some little beads that I had gotten from Michael's, I think it was a long time ago, and then I put them on with a little tiny number three copper blade, really super shiny. Boom, gone stop. And it was with the single hook too. I put a number four on there. I figured if it was a little bigger, it'd be less of a chance of them being able to spit it out, you know? So, and it worked pretty good. Otherwise than that, I gotta hurry. I gotta go. As you can tell, it's getting dark. And being in this spot is not where you wanna be when it's pitch black. I'm telling you right now, this is not where you wanna be. You wanna be somewhere safe and this isn't safe. Anyways, there's a head over here. There's that playlist over here. Go check out the tips, tricks, and techniques of places I fish with the Driftless. Fun times that I have like this. It was pretty much non-stop fishing. Well, probably, I mean, pretty much non-stop catching and fishing. It's always non-stop fishing around here. But I got to get out of here. It's getting dangerously dark, and I got to get going. You can, it looks really nice on your end, but on my end here, it's, yeah. I'm giving it probably 25 minutes. I got to race downstream to get to the truck, or it's going to be all over. All right. Anyways, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next episode. See if I get the snow off here for the headbutt.